In this lesson, we'll cover the copy function. This is a button on the control panel that, once pressed, will make a copy or multiple copies of the last job that was sent to the cutter. To use the copy function, a job first has to be sent to the cutter. Once the job is cut, it remains in the buffer. The copy function can use that data to cut more copies. Let's use this function and press the copy button. In the copy menu, there are three options. When the first option, media change mode, is enabled, it will stop the cutter after each copy is completed, allowing for the media to be switched. This is helpful when you are cutting sheets of media rather than a roll. The second option sets the number of copies to be cut. And the third option has useful settings such as spacing between each copy, enabling the crosscut function after each copy, and the spacing or distance we would like fed before it crosscuts the media. Let's press the escape key to exit this menu. Next, we'll set the number of copies by pressing the 2 key. Set the number to 4 copies. Press Escape to go to the previous menu. And then press Enter to start the process of cutting the copies.